Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Now I am talking about this video is building the future and the main role of building the future is fabrication. So now I am talking about this video is uh, introduction to fabrication, prefabrication, introduction to prefabrication. Now I am talking about this video is step by step. First of all, what is the fabrication, prefabrication, then types of prefabrication, then benefits of prefabrication, then challenges of prefabrication, then application of prefabrication, then the last but not the least, the future of prefabrication. Okay. The first of all, I am not, I am talking about what is prefabrication. Prefabrication is the process of constructing components of a building or a structure. We have seen uh, to starting the videos. The main role of our designing is prefabrication and building the building the construction and all. Okay. Then the components of a uh, material and a structure of op sites. There are there are transporting them to site or assembly. This method of construction has been gaining uh, popularity due to its its many advantages for our tra traditional or site construction method then one of the biggest advance advantage advantages of prefabrication is that it allows for faster construction times since the components are built off sites they can be constructed simultaneously while the site is being prepared which can save a considerable amount of time these are the fabrication most of all prefabrication is a is a constructing components of a site or site of site before 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 transporting them to it to for the assembly okay now the types of prefabrication there are types of prefabrication there are several type of prefabrication including modular construction Modular construction, penelage construction, and vol volumetric construction. These are the type of prefabrication. Modular construction involves involves building entire rooms or section of a building offsite. Modular construction is involved in types of fabrication to involve involve entire rooms or section of a building offsite. While penelage construction involves const constructing panels or section of a building offsite. Volumetric, volumetric construction involve manufacturing entire modules or functions of a buildings complete with finishes and pictures of site. Then each type of prefabrication has its own advantages and disadvantages depending on the specific project requirements. For example, modular construction is ideal for product projects that require a high level of customization. These are the each types of fabrication. Prefabrication is are it has on advantages or disadvantages dis depending on the specific project requirements. For example, model construction is ideal for ideal for projects that require a high level of customization. Then while penalized construction is better situated for projects with repeat repetitive building elements. These are the type of prefabrication. Okay. Now, now, now I'm talking about uh, benefits of prefabrication. Prefabrication offer numerous benefits including improved quality control, reduced, reduced waste and the increased sustainability. Since the components are built in a controlled in the environment, the quality of the materials and the work workmanship can be closely mentored. These are the benefits. These, these are the benefits of prefabrication. And the which can result in fewer in fewer defects and errors. Additionally, prefabrication can help reduce waste by waste by optimizing optimizing material uses and reducing the amount of on-site waste generated during construction. Finally, prefabrication can also contribute to increased sustainability, sustainability by reducing but by reducing the environmental impact of construction through de through reduced transportation emission or energy energy assumption these are the benefits of prefabrication okay now the challenges of prefabrication because it has benefit which, which has also available in challenges okay and the problems everywhere okay but now challenges of prefabrication while prefabrication while offers many benefits it also presents several challenges that must be addressed one of the biggest challenges in transportation logistics is the components components must be transported from the off-site manufacturing facility to the including to the building site. This can be compli complicated by factors such as distance, 
traffic and weather conditions. Another challenge is coordination between the various st stakeholders involved in the project, including architects, including architects, engineers, const contractors, and manufacturers also. Effective communication and collaboration are essential to ensure that the components are designed and the manufacturer to meet the project requirement and the specification. These are very, very important for behalf of fabrication and to, <coughs> to start a construction or a site. Okay. These are very, very important. And the components, you see here, these types of, these types of, uh, this this types of stakeholders examples that uh, architects, engineers, and contractors and manufacturers also to have mostly effective communication and collaboration are essential to ensure that the components are designed and manufactured to meet the project's requirements and the specification. These are the challenges of prefabrication. Okay, now the application of prefabrication. What are the application of prefabrication? We have seen here different different types of prefabrication. When I've started a site, then site is also also available here. These types of prefabrication. <coughs> a prefabrication can be used in in a wide range of application from residential housing to commercial building to infrastructure projects. In the is the is in the residential. I am talking about previously residential very very important. We have seen here different different types of structure and let's follow out the structures. Okay, the components application for residential to housing the commercial buildings into infrastructure projects in the in the in the residential sector prefabrication can be used to construct construct single family family home multi family buildings and even entire communities in the commercial sector prefabrication can be used to construct office buildings retail spaces and hostels these are the application of prefabrications we have designed the different different types of structure we have seen here examples office buildings retail spaces and hostels also okay prefabrication can also be used in infrastructure projects such as bridges tunnels and highways these are the also application of prefabrication by manufacturing components of offshore these projects can be com can be completed faster and and more e more efficiently that traditional construction method which can reduce dispersion to traffic and other activities in surrounding areas these are the fabrication uh, these are the application of fabrication it is very very important we have seen here these slides where, where where as uses of prefabrication and the role of prefabrication is our engineers architects and manufacturers and contractors also okay the, and the the main role is uh, uh, prefabrication to uh, we build a family house they build a multi family buildings then build a co communities then commercial sector and the all the retail spaces and the, all the big 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 big, big 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 apartments and all the all the will the helps of application of these are the help of the application of prefabrication now the future of prefabrication we have seen different this is the prefabrication and the near about this 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 all about the future of prefabrication as the construction industry continues to evolve prefabrication is poised to play in increasingly increasingly important role in the future of buildings and construction advances in technology such as building information modeling beam and 3d printing also future of prefabrication we have designed different different types of structure which are used to 3d and printing over the structures and making it easier easier and more efficient to design and design and manufactured complex manufacture complex prefabricated components these are the future of prefabrication such as involves the division of the components of the uh, prefabrication additionally the growing focus on sustainability and efficiency is the, in the construction industry is uh, driving demand for hot prefabrication and is as it offers a more sustainable and efficient and efficient and efficient alternative to traditional on-site construction methods as a result, we can expect to, to see continued growth and innovation in the field of prefabrication in the years of years of come. Sometimes after we have seen here, now talking about these slides, we have seen uh, <coughs> the future of prefabrication. Okay. As a result, we can expect the continuous process. Okay. The future of prefabrication. Additionally, to 3D printing, we have designed the prefabrication and designed to be 
included oversight near about the structure will be followed also okay now then thank you so much thanks so thank you so much thanks for watching this video if you are enjoying this video and uh, then the then the learning we have also we also then subscribe to my channel because i am i am i am updated daily to daily civil engineers related topics and subject related topics then must you have subscribe this channel thank you so much thank you for watching this video uh, i am meeting i am made with another videos thank you so much thanks for watching thank you